I had been waiting for the day when I could find my favorite fragrances in candles and various ambient home fragrances because I'm the kind of person that I really don't want to splurge on a Jo Malone candle or a diptyque candle. Like, I'm literally burning money. Like, I am literally, I could, I could burn a dollar bill is how I feel. I'm like, I could be a penny pincher that way. And I do have a diptyque room spray, but it took me a lot to buy it and I really, really love that one. And if it's like a fragrance, then I'm okay with it. However, there is now a brand called Lazy Royal and they make candles, diffusers, car fresheners that are extremely affordable and smell like all my favorite fragrances. They have all the Jo Malone's I love, they have Baccarat Rouge, they have like so many. I have them all on the table behind me. I did collaborate with them for this video. They are a sister company of oil perfumery, which you guys know how much I love oil perfumery and oil fragrance dupes. I see a lot of benefits in them. I'll link that video up here where I talked about those if you guys don't know about oil fragrances. But anyway, today we're talking about ambient scents for your home and for your car that smell like incredible, bougie fragrances and they actually work really really well as home scents i've been putting them everywhere in my house every single one of my rooms in my house right now smells like super bougie so let's get right into it i'll show you how they all look and how to use them if you guys are interested then stay tuned if you're new here my name is yana this is the scented we talk about all things fragrance usually perfume sometimes home fragrance all the fun fragrance things so don't forget to hit that big red button and the little bell stay tuned for new videos coming up and we'll do all the fun fragrance things together here we go i went a little crazy with the display behind me and just stack them in all kinds of ways. The first one is cigars in bed this is a really nice subtle candle that smells like tom ford's tobacco vanille I was so surprised by how much I love this. I once was at a barber shop because I was working on a project there, basically a design project, and I had come in there and I smelled a scent that smelled so much like this. Obviously it was tobacco vanilla, I recognized it in the air. I didn't ask the shop owner or anything about it, but I recognized it immediately. And it smelled so beautiful in this upscale barber shop in downtown Toronto. It smelled amazing. And this is kind of like, well, this is exactly what this smells like. It makes for such a beautiful masculine ambient scent. I think of like a dark themed room, leather couches, really nice, tasteful, put together, gentlemanly type of space. I think this could work really, really well if you run a small business that is masculine oriented like a barber shop it smells really expensive in that kind of space. So if you have a diffuser, the throw on that cloud is massive. I'm telling you the diffuser I'm using in my house, like my whole first floor is full of this scent. The candles are a little bit less imposing. They do create kind of a smaller cloud, which is more subtle and pleasant. For me, the scent is strong, it's powerful. So I would only be using the candle of it, but it is so beautiful. Then of course, we have our Baccarat Rouge. It's called Checkmate. So you can get the diffuser and I'll show you how I've set up my diffuser. I'm using a different scent. I can already smell it out of here. Even though I haven't even opened it, it smells absolutely identical. Like their dupes are spot on, just like oil perfumery dupes are spot on and Okcha fragrance dupes are spot on. These are incredible. I haven't smelled one that I was like, mm, this smells off. They all smell right on. And this is their little car freshener. Or what I like to do is put it in a small room, like a closet or the powder room downstairs, like in my foyer. And it really freshens up the space. So if you're a Baccarat Rouge lover and you've dreamed of having your home smell like your favorite fragrance, guess what? You now can and you don't need to break the bank. I think the diffusers run for around $40, the candles are around $30, and these little guys are like $15. Anyway, I'll link the website and everything and I do have a code for you. It's Yana10. You can save 10%. And those small car diffusers, they do come with a little clip so you can clip it into your air vents. I'm using one that smells like lime, basil, and mandarin in my car, the Joe Malone one. Oh, smells so refreshing and so lovely. That one makes for a gorgeous ambient scent. It is like subtle, but it's very present. I love it for the car. The diffuser that I'm working with now downstairs, I have this on my main floor and I just have it in the living room. There's my dog's hair on here, apologies. Um, 
these reeds are insane like they are so so powerful they come in a pack of 10 i put seven in here and i really should have only put five because as soon as i set this up it was so so powerful then after like three days you should flip them but anyway yeah incredible performance on this and this one here is called an evening with gatsby which i think is such a beautiful poetic name and it is uh inspired by by Rito's cotton poplin which is one of their ambient scents but much more affordable so i do really love this one i have the same scent in the little car freshener this little mini guy i have this in my powder room and this one really just smells like fresh laundry so if you love by Rito blanche you would really like this they're not identical this one is actually more laundry-esque blanche is a bit more floral um but really kind of a similar effect so if you really just want your house smelling like bougie fresh laundry this is the scent for you and of course i have this in the candle as well because i do really love the scent but i haven't cracked into the candle yet the candle that i am so tempted to start burning is royal entourage and this one took me by surprise because it's a dupe of aventus Aventus in a candle, but it smells really sexy like it smells like a super hot guy just showered in your house and Put on a suit and went to work and you're still left sniffing the air after he left Really really Like attractive scent and it works so well as an ambient scent. I guess they They made it smoother somehow softer because I do find that Aventus has that sharpness Sometimes it's a little bit too smoky. Sometimes it's actually a little bit too pineapple and it irritates me they've smoothed off the edges in this candle and just as a candle it's subtle enough to be really enjoyable i would love to just like smell this wafting around in my home and i think this is the one i'm going to start burning next really really well done even though i'm like a big time aventus hater i guess i'm a phony because i do like the candle okay sitting behind that little coral there this is one of my all-time favorite scents as you guys know you know how much I love wood sage and sea salt from Joe Malone. They call it Hampton's Tan, which just sounds super upscale, like some kind of yacht club. This smells identical to wood sage and sea salt. It's quite strong and it fills up the space just enough. Just enough to give you that seaside, like coastal breeze effect. And I love it together with the Born in Eden candle, which is peony and blush suede. I've always honestly wanted to buy the peony and blush suede Jo Malone candle the big one but isn't it like a few hundred bucks like I'm sorry but I'd rather get a perfume for a few hundred bucks not a candle maybe some of you guys are gonna come after me for you know not being a luxe candle lover but a luxe fragrance lover but that's just how I see it I want the luxe scent in a candle but I'm I don't want to spend it you know what I mean I'm just being honest anyway this yeah, these two together smell beautiful, just as the fragrance combination of Woods Agent Sea Salt and Peony and Blush Suede smells really good. Burning these two at the same time is fantastic. Again, the candles, they're a lot more subtle, so you can afford to burn two and not be overwhelmed by the scent. They actually blend really nicely together in the air. And Serengeti is their take on by Rito's Val de Freak, one of my signature scents. It smells identical. They have actually done such a good job on this one. I've been struggling to find a good dupe of Val de Frigue, as you guys know, even though I have the original fragrance, but sometimes, you know, you just want to have the dupe just to have it. And in a home fragrance, like I don't think Byredo even offers the scent in a home fragrance, but Lazy Royal does. So Serengeti smells identical to Val de Frigue. It's neither too smoky or too sweet. It's like exactly about that freak the candle is a lot more subtle this was the very first one that i did start burning because i was so curious to see how they did on the scent and i was really pleasantly surprised the reed diffuser is way way stronger so i'm gonna hold off on that one until the candle is through the candle fills up one room so i have this one burning in my kitchen usually in the evenings and it stays just within that room very very subtle and they do have a few of their own scents that they've created as originals one of them is swedish candy i think of the originals this is my favorite one it really smells like those swedish candies you know those gummies i used to love those as a kid and the smell is just like it very nostalgic very pleasant sweet but not too sweet i love it 
Secret Affair is another one that really, really impressed me. This smells exactly like MFK Amorous Femme, one of my favorite fragrances from that collection. And this candle is spot on. Very classy, would work perfectly as an ambient scent. I do feel some fragrances are appropriate as an ambient scent and some maybe not so much. This one works perfectly both ways. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with the scent, it's quite a unique floral. There's a almost like a musky lemony effect to it. There's also iris that adds a touch of powderiness and a woodiness as well. It's very hard to pinpoint, but it's just elegant. It's very feminine and lovely and like quite a unique floral without smelling like a floral bouquet. So this is definitely one of my favorites. Now, the one that I actually do have a room spray of is Diptyque Bay. It smells like black currant. It has a nice tanginess to it, green and really pleasant, very uplifting, a very, very strong scent for me. Like I try to be quite modest in my sprayage of this because it is really, really strong. I've oversprayed in my house and it was a bit too much, but having it in a candle and a much more affordable version of the candle is much nicer. It smells identical. I do really, really love the scent and it is the best selling diptyque home fragrance. It's so lovely. It smells like, like a French garden or something in the morning. Very uplifting. It actually smells a lot like the fragrance L'Ambre dans l'eau from Diptyque, if you've ever smelled that. And their version is called Fabergé Egg. It's, it's spot on, like smelling them side by side, they are completely spot on. But if you do want a stronger version of it, the diffuser will deliver. And I'm telling you guys, only start with five of the sticks because 10 might overwhelm you. If you hear my little boy in the background, he's playing with grandma and grandpa today, they're letting me film. So yeah, you're gonna hear like little funny baby noises in the background and that's just life. I'll show you the reed diffusers super quickly. So they are these sort of like silky reeds, really, really good quality reeds and they play a huge part in the scent bubble being so huge. All of their scents are fantastic. They have a Love Don't Be Shy dupe. They have so many incredible scents. They actually have like so many of my personal favorite fragrances in these ambient scents. Another thing that's huge for me is the fact that they are vegan and cruelty free. They use cotton wicks. The materials that they package in are all recyclable. There's no additives or dyes, like any of that nasty stuff and chemical stuff. It's, it's good, clean, and that gives me a lot of comfort since I do have a baby in my home and I don't wanna be burning things that are kind of a big question mark for me. This way I can feel comfortable that like if I'm burning these candles or running the reed um, diffuser, that it's perfectly safe. I'm all set. Like this, this is the only place that I think I'm ever gonna shop for home fragrances. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're gonna enjoy some of these scents as well. If you do wanna check them out, I do have that 10% code for you. Again, it's Yana10 and it's Lazy Royal. I will link them all in the description for you. I'll link all my favorites that I mentioned here plus the website itself so you guys can scope it out and see what else is good. Honestly, all of their stuff is completely spot on. I smelt it all. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.